Okay, folks, today is the day. The time is now. I'm flying on a 12 and a half hour flight to Dubai today. I'm all packed up. I am so excited and I'm like still in disbelief. Um, I hope that I have everything I need. I only went over the list like 12,000 times and we're headed to the airport. So I'm going to COP28 for work. It's the UN climate conference and this year it's in Dubai. This day on the airport, I'm wearing this outfit. I kind of wanted something that was like comfy, but looks professional and not professional, but you know what I mean? Like looks nice enough. I'm meeting my co-workers at the airport once I get there because they're on a different flight. So I'm just wearing this cuts t-shirt with linen pants because it's going to be hot in Dubai, hokas, and I have like a nude sweatshirt draped over my arms. I'll wear it on the plane, but I'll probably wear it like this once I get there. And we're headed off. Got here like two hours and 45 minutes early. Thought I'd have plenty of time. Waited an hour to check in. Waited like another hour at security. And now I just made it through and I'm walking up like right as soon as we're boarding. So no time for food. <laughs> made it to Dubai. I found my hotel room, landed safely. It was such a quick feeling flight for 12 hours. I was actually shocked. I don't think I actually slept that restfully. <laughs> I maybe slept a couple hours. I met up with my colleagues who were also, um, they landed at a similar time. Took a taxi and now we're here. So this is the hotel room. It's got two beds. It is not much of a view, I will say. We've got this nice lot over here and some other buildings. It was also pretty hazy when we were landing, so I couldn't see the skyline that well, but I saw some of the buildings, like the tallest one and everything. Very cool. I'm like kind of delirious right now, so I'm not speaking properly. I need to put this in the bathroom. And now we're taking a couple hours to like regroup. I'm gonna shower. Debating washing my hair, but I feel like it looks greasy already just from the flight, so I kind of want to. And then we're gonna meet up again and head to the venue and get our passes and kind of scoop things out. So, yeah, nice bathroom, very spacious. I love the shower, very excited to use it in just a few short moments. So, I'm gonna do this. I need to get coffee at some point and chug more water because. I was drinking water the whole flight, but I still don't feel like it was enough. We made it to Dubai. Oh, look, Miss Christina Vetter. Hello. It's the end of day one in Dubai, kind of. I mean, it was like, I'd say it was a full day because we landed at 8 a.m. There were no plans, so it was pretty chill. We spent the day to Expo City, which is where the conference is, to get our badges and to like scope out the venue of where we're going tomorrow for our events. And it was really nice. It was cool to see everything that's going on. It's definitely like a lot happening at once in a million different pavilions and expos and you know, new technology demonstrations and events and it's all very exciting but there's a lot going on so yeah then we had lunch there and we got a tour of the venue for our panel we're doing tomorrow which was nice and now it's 6 p.m and i'm so tired i literally was just sitting on my bed like going through pictures and i was falling asleep <laughs> So I think I'm gonna have to go to sleep. I did sleep a couple hours on the flight last night, but I didn't sleep as much as I wanted to. And I definitely don't think it was enough to count as a full night's rest. Tonight they're doing fireworks for UAE National Day, I think it's called, which sounds so cool. And I, part of me wants to stay up and watch them, but the other part is like, 
asleep so i think i'm just gonna go to bed quite a day my feet are already in pain a little bit from walking all around the venue so i can only imagine what tomorrow's gonna be like so pray for my feet i'm gonna wear socks with my shoes there was a whole range of different kinds of outfits though and not everyone was dressed up super formally but i also think it's just kind of like depends on what capacity you're there for and i feel like as i don't know i want to be presenting well anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow um, when I'm getting ready or leaving at like 8 a.m. to go because it's going to take a long time with the amount of people they're expecting to get their security and all of that tomorrow morning. So breakfast at the hotel before we head out and then we have a full day of events that we're attending and hosting and meetings and all of that. So tomorrow's when comp for us like really begins. But yeah, today was definitely a good like warm up, I would say. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6.27 a.m. in the UAE, and I've been awake for three and a half hours. It is the first like big day of COP where we have events, like I said. So I went to sleep at 7.30 and woke up at three and just could not go back to sleep. I tried, I read my book, I was like responding to emails. I thought about going to the gym, honestly, but then I was like, I don't really want to wash my hair again. I am dreading the crash that I'm going to feel later in the day. I gotta stay caffeinated as always. So I'm going to be ready in like 10 minutes and breakfast starts at seven. So I have like 30 minutes until then. We have a car scheduled to take us to the conference at eight. Got plenty of time. Now we're basically ready and just accessorizing. So I have my little matching set on. Silver jewelry for this one. Still not even seven and I'm now ready. And I'm like twirling my thumbs a little bit because no one on my team has messaged anything this morning. So I don't know. I might just head down to the breakfast room with my laptop and like chill there until anyone joins. Okay, and I'm also gonna do a headband. Probably gonna wear headbands a few days this week. There she is! Got my badge. We are ready to roll. Okay, here is the full look for day one of COP. My leggings are sheer techs, my go-to. And then these are the shoes I just got from Naturalizer. This set is by Mango that I got at Nordstrom. And this like Rioria bodysuit. I have these in a few colors and they're so clutch. And then I'm just wearing silver jewelry, like I said, and my COP28 badge with this bag that I got from Mally and Lily. Wish me luck. <laughs> This area that I'm in is so pretty. This is definitely my favorite space so far. Oh, I've got my hair on the tree. So pretty. I just went to an event at the US Pavilion and it was a bummer because I was trying to talk to one of the panelists, but they like rushed us outside and I think they left from a different place. So, oh well. But maybe I'll be able to meet up with them later because she knows one of our senior staff. So anyway, I have a little bit of a break and then I'm going to meet up with more colleagues. But there's a lot going on at once. So it's like impossible to go to everything that you want to. Good morning, everyone. I didn't even end up like filming anything once I got back last night. Um, I don't even know if I got any coherent footage yesterday, but we were running around. We hosted one of our first events and it went so well. We got such good feedback and the engagement was great. It just went really well. So we came back after that. I chilled, got room service. I got a little tomato soup and then I went to sleep. And now it's day two. Um, we don't have any of our own events today. We are participating in others events though. So it's like less stress on our part. This is what I'm wearing. I have these Halara pants and the same bodysuit as yesterday in white. And this coat I rented from Newly. It's got this like tweed vibe, some nude flats. The heels, I definitely changed in and out of them a couple times, um, but my feet were struggling by the end. And I'm wearing a headband again, just because my bangs need to be reined in. This is a super comfy outfit, so I'm very pleased with it. And I'll probably be taking the jacket off <laughs> when I'm outside like between sessions, because it got very hot yesterday, but it was so cool and I'm excited for today. I'm going to an event, hopefully, if I can make it with my schedule, um, that Hillary Clinton is speaking at and John Kerry that's hosted by the US. And I went to one of their events yesterday, but this one's in like one of the bigger pavilions. I am excited for everything that today will bring.
not just skills that we want young girls to acquire. These are skills that we need programs uh, available for women at any stage of their work life to acquire. As you know, the panelists were just talking uh, about the significance of what we are finally putting on the agenda of COP, the first ever COP focused on gender and health. Hello. Good morning from the hotel room once again. Yesterday was another busy day running around. I did get to explore a little bit more into the green zone yesterday in between sessions. We went and saw the like giant fountains, which is the first thing that I saw when I looked Expo City up. And it was so cool. I mean, I did get the footage of it, so you already saw it probably. Also, this lighting is so hard. This feels like straight down. Um, so I'm trying not to get it too close. I feel a little bit dead today. Like I think the energy depletion is hitting me, but today is like our chillest day, which is good. So it's 8.30 now. By this time yesterday, I was like on the shuttle already going there, but we're having a later start because we don't have sessions that we want to go to until like 11, 30, 12. So I'm getting ready and then I'm going to go grab some breakfast. They have breakfast here downstairs. Then today we actually have time to explore into Dubai because we don't have any of our own events or participation events or anything. Like we're just attending today. So we're a little bit more flexible. I'm curling my eyelashes now. I checked into my flight. My return flight leaves at 2.30 a.m. Thursday. And the flight back is actually longer. It's 14 hours. I have a whole row to myself as of now. I'm praying that it stays that way, but I know that's not likely. But how nice would that be for a 15 hour flight? I feel like I'm just feeling a little more tired today. I'm gonna drink some coffee when I go to breakfast. Okay, I'm ready for the day now. I put on the slingback shoes. I mean, this is how I initially thought of the outfit. And I think they look so cute, but I just know I'm gonna die. So I'll probably actually wear sneakers. Here's the look. That's the thing. They're comfy, but not for the amount of walking and standing that I'm doing. I think I would wear these to like a one afternoon event, but not an entire conference. But anyway, here's the look. This top I got from Zara. I think I showed in the vlog last week. Did I? I stopped in Zara and got this. Um, it was like 10 bucks. It's like a neutral. And then these pants are from Loft. I forget the name of the style, but they're kind of like, they hit the belly button and they're a little bit short. They might be petite, which is good. And then the naturalizer shoes that I'm probably not gonna wear. Blazer is a newly rental that has like a little bit, it's like black, white, and nude, very subtle. So I think it matches the top. That's the full look. Day three, day three. What do we want? Yeah. spot little call boxes and i'm gonna get a coffee before my first event today one of our cities actually in brazil is rio and they've long prioritized the sdgs i fully think i just went to the wrong event because there's a million things happening in this building like all of these little tiny pavilions have their own event spaces the one i was supposed to be at ended way too early to be what i was supposed to be at so I'm trying to find it. I'm gonna go down there. Okay, that I definitely went to the wrong one first. <laughs> so that was a flop, but I found the event and I was a little bit late, but it ended up being not quite as relevant to me as I thought it would be, but it was still interesting. Um, plus I got to walk around that pavilion. They also have a ton of these little booths outside.
And that is a wrap on COP28, for me at least, and for the team. We finished our last event today, and I'm checking out right now. We have our flight at 2.35 a.m. So it's like 11 p.m., and we're headed to the airport right now. So it's a 14 hour and 40 minute flight. See you on the other side. Hello you guys. I am back in my apartment here in New York. As you can see, I got back yesterday morning from my 15 hour long overnight flight. My body was very confused and still is a little bit. I've been okay today. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed at how I subverted the jet lag going there. I got back yesterday at 8 a.m. I didn't get to my apartment though until like 10 with customs and taxi traffic and all that. But um, I am feeling okay today. Yesterday, I got back. I didn't really have to work technically because it was a travel day. I still was like, I want to catch up on my emails that I've been neglecting at COP and try and like get somewhat on track. And then I got here and I was like a little bit tired, but I was like, I could either get some food, get some coffee, force myself to stay up, be productive, or I could take a little nap. And then after an hour or two, wake up and take on the rest of my day and then be on a normal sleep schedule. And so I closed my eyes thinking I would wake up in like an hour or two because I slept so much on the plane. Like, I feel like I slept at least eight hours on the plane. And then yesterday I closed my eyes around noon and I woke up and it was dark outside and I made the mistake of not setting an alarm thinking I would wake up after a couple hours on my own. And I just simply did not. I was up for five hours in the middle of the day. But yeah, anyway, I slept like a good seven or eight hours last night, so I think I'm back on track. That is just the joys and pains of a nine hour time change. But anyway, I'm getting ready now. It's like later in the day, afternoon. I've been working from home today, no meetings, just catching up on everything I missed and like following up on cop things, sending thank you notes, emails, um, drafting, like follow up, reporting stuff. And I thought I would just end off this cop vlog with a little bit of a reflection and tie it up with a little bow. I feel like I have so much to say, but also it's not over yet and we're still like watching how things play out and negotiations and like what kind of outcomes are finalized from the conference. So if you don't know, basically it's an actual conference for policymakers working together and trying to draft like climate legislation and renew their goals. Also, there was just so much going on outside of it too. Like it is such a great platform for civil society to convene, which is what my organization was doing. We participated by doing side events. We're, you know, non-governmental, so we weren't involved as a party to the conference negotiating any sort of actual outcomes. We were just doing side events. So we had a few panels that we organized on topics relevant to our organization. I like to keep my work separate to a degree and I don't wanna be like trying to associate all of my personal opinions with my workplace and stuff. So that's why I speak pretty vaguely about it. But yeah, so I feel like it's pretty obvious that part of what I do is related to climate and environment, which is why I was at COP. And we had like a team of five of us from my organization there. And we had a panel on Sunday that went super well. It was in a giant room, so we were like kind of intimidated about filling it up just because there was so much happening at all times all over the conference, like hundreds of overlapping events on such interesting things. Like there was a million things I had written down that I wanted to go to that I just simply did not make it to because there were other things happening and also things were far apart. Like Expo City, as you guys saw probably from the clips, is so spread out, so massive. People are asking of my overall like thoughts and opinions because it was controversial. There definitely was some controversy around COP being in the UAE and also like statements that the president of COP made, which are valid and like have concern to them. And also it's so, I feel like easy to get sucked into the like pessimism of it all and seeing like how little progress we've made and how far we have to go and how every single government is just like not following through on their commitments and everything, which just feels like very <sighs> discouraging. 
but I would say from my perspective of being there and seeing the other side of it like it was just very inspiring to like go to some of these panels that were giving examples of how people on the ground are finding their own solutions and creative like innovative alternatives it just made me so much more hopeful again it's easy to look at like the big high level government things and be kind of disappointed by how things are not matching up but seeing the other side of it and like being involved in the conversations with civil society and like seeing just the sheer number of people that were together in this space like convening and working together and finding these common issues and ways that they could collaborate and like better each other's programming and everything like that like it was just so inspiring and that's what i loved about it personally again i wasn't there in the negotiating rooms um on behalf of the government that probably would be a different experience i work more on like the relationship with conflict and security and how climate change like exacerbates inequalities and tensions that contribute to conflicts that's like the space and angle that we were approaching it in um which is such a small little sliver compared to like the huge amount of different sectors that were in the conference and i just met so many incredible people it was like such a like <laughs> immersion therapy of networking olympics for me uh, especially being new in my role i was like a little bit insecure um about representing my organization there after only being in the role for a month but i don't know i just learned so much from so many different people and met so many like brilliant inspiring people i feel like it was such a productive few days i can't believe that it was only a few days that we were there because i feel like we did so much passed out my business cards i did get business cards that i was very thrilled about. I had reached out to our like operations person to try and put in an order for them a couple weeks ago and she said she wasn't sure if they'd come in time, but they did. So I felt very official <laughs> giving out my business cards. We also like had a new report that we were disseminating that we had a lot of interest in, which was awesome. It was a lot and it was exhausting and I was running around to try and like attend so many things and like see as much as I could and take full advantage of the experience. Obviously climate change is like a massive, <laughs> extremely like overwhelming issue that seems impossible on like a macro level to get anywhere with, but just being in those conversations and like being around people who all care about it and are, you know, working in their own individual capacities and working together to tackle it from different angles. It was just more motivating. So I'm just really, really grateful for the experience that I got to go. It was also just nice to like have a work trip this early on in my role and like bond with my team more, except I wasn't really with my team. I was with like one of my team members and then a couple members of another team. But I mean, my organization's like kind of small. So we work together a lot anyway. So like on that level too, aside from just caught, but just having a work trip um, where I got to know them more on like a personal level too and we just got to bond everything just went really well and I don't know I just feel like I couldn't have asked for a better cop experience definitely I would encourage you if you are have any sort of interest in the space do some browsing of your own and maybe watch some of the events that are recorded and published online I know that the time difference if you're in the U.S. was kind of dark as far as like live streaming things but it was so cute my sister texted me that she has like stepkids and she texted me and she was like wait i didn't realize that the work trip you were talking about was going to cop and she was like i have to tell i'll just say her kid's name is bobby <laughs> I'll have to tell Bobby he'll be so excited because he just went to school early with his class to like watch a live stream of a COP event and he's so excited about learning about climate change and all this stuff and it was just very cute. But yeah, I just, I feel like overall it reaches so many people in different capacities and like so many different interests. I don't know how interesting this is, but I did get some DMs of people asking me to like talk about it a little bit more and it is a pretty unique experience. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen, not that I've looked that hard, but I've never seen a vlog of someone going to cop so i hope this was interesting to you guys and again i'm not like the most expert of experts i'm certainly not a scientist um and i'm kind of like approaching it more from a policy and peace and security angle also i'll say like this was a big cop for us because this was the first time that they even had like a theme around peace and security related to climate so on sunday we had one of our events in the theme that day 
was peace and security. So that's really exciting and attended a lot of like gender you know dimensions of climate issues hopefully you got like a little taste of what expo city looked like i barely even covered like half of the geographical area and i had walked like 17,000 steps a day so yeah also following up on my naturalizer heels that people were asking about i do love them and they are reasonably comfortable but i just think any sort of heels are not gonna fare well when you're walking 17,000 steps a day. I think I'm gonna wrap this up now. I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'm going out to drinks with some friends this evening. I'm excited. I feel like I've been gone for so long, but really it's only been a week. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna stop rambling now and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm actually traveling again next week. Nothing major. I'm just going to DC for a couple days for work again because we have some like end of the year team building meetings also like our holiday party and it just felt like the right time to go because i wanted to go like try and go once before the end of the year i'll have time to go for a couple days do another work trip so that'll be my next vlog stay tuned i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you on instagram and tiktok before that but until then see you next week bye <laughs>